What up, peeps? Basis for Savage Haven here, David. And we have a gig today. It's in series over there in the Modesto area. And it's about... My watch is on the wrong side. We got practice at 11. Because we're going to practice before the show. And then we are going to leave at 3. Hopefully arrive there about 5. Might even get there at 4. It's about an hour away, but we're accounting for for traffic and all that stuff. And we play at about 7.30, so we're going to be there pretty early. So, you know, get to know the place, get to know the people. And have fun, yeah. We'll probably eat along the way, too. And I'm about to show you my rig. So, first off, it's nothing big. This is basically it. You got a bass, an amp, and a gig bag. So... Let me show you the base that I'm carrying first. Here's our band logo. Got to put that thing on everything. Savage Haven, Savage Haven. It's on everything. It's on this side too. Savage Haven. We got these little stickers printed. We're going to put them on all our gear. So this is a Gator case. Decent for a hundred bucks. It's like a hard plastic. And it's decent. And here's the base. Jackson's CBX, David Ellison's signature model. And this thing kicks pretty much every ass out there in the world. I set it up to my specifications. And there's my strap and there's an extra cloth in there. Just one, because it's nice to have a cloth inside your case. It also um, helps the neck st stay in there more securely. And next up here is the gig bag. I actually have a stand on here. It's one of those cheap $10 stands. Alright, so this is what I got here in the uh, the bag. This is the uh, other part of the stand. And not just when I'm on stage, I just put it together. And I have a stand on stage. It's always good to have a stand on stage. You don't want to be putting your bass or your guitar just on the stage somewhere. Amp cable. Three uh, instrument cables and two XLRs. Extension cord, some, what are these called? I got an SM57 in there just in case I need to mic up my bass amp. So there's the SM57. It's always good to have a microphone. And also, if I need it for um, backup vocals and stuff like that. So, there's that. And here I have basically a cheap-ass clone of a Sans amp. Uh, here's a chorus pedal. I don't use it when I'm playing with Savage Haven. For other bands, I do. But, because it my bass gets drowned up in the mix. And you can't even hear the chorus effect, so I don't even use it. However, I do use this. This is the uh, bass limiter enhancer. Basically, I just use it as a compressor. And that's basically the uh, settings that I use right there. Thanks to my nurse girlfriend. Got some lotion. Some Advil. Hand sanitizers. You want to clean your hands. There's some dirty ass people at metal shows. So clean your hands, people. Blistex, multi-tool, sharpies, pens, nail files, nail clippers, batteries, more batteries, ground lift adapters, flashlight, tools, Allen wrenches, earplugs, super glue, just in case you um, cut yourself up. More picks down there. So I got a surplus of stuff here just in case shit hits the fan. Now here's my amp. Now you may be thinking, like, what the hell is this? This ain't no amp. Well, this is the cover I made for my amp. I made it this out of cardboard. I was going to buy one of the plastic. Or it's not plastic. It's made out of cloth with some like kind of vinyl covering or something like that on the outer part of the uh, thing. But they were, they were kind of expensive, and I had this lying around, and I just made it. it took a couple of hours because measuring, because I did cut out holes so I can use the handle still. This does have handles, and it's just basically just to protect it when I'm transporting it and stuff. It does have casters down there, so it's, I can easily roll this, but just just so it won't get dinged up. And the amp that's actually in here is a Fender Rumble 350. So it's 350 watts of combo power, and this thing is pretty fucking loud, if I do say so myself. It's pretty loud. I do want to get a bigger rig when I have more funds, but for now, this is pretty. This is pretty um 
pretty adequate for now. The case, as you can see, just kind of fits right on top of it really easily. Look at that. Perfect fit. We're going to take two cars, actually. We were originally going to just take one, but that ain't going to happen with half stacks and all the drum stuff that we need to take and stuff. Well, that's not going to happen. So we're gonna, I'm going to take my car, and Anthony's going to take his car. And that should be it. Oh my god, look at that chocolate. I'm not even a fan of chocolate, but but we're still eating it. Wow. So that's Anthony. Hello. This is the drummer of Savage Haven. Singer. And singer. And we're waiting for the guitarist now, because uh, they're late. This is why we don't let Hugo get rides from Richard, because Richard is always late. And when Richard is late, Hugo is late. Hugo's late. And it's 12 o'clock, 12.05 actually, and they're still not here. We've been practicing for like 40 minutes by ourselves. All their, all their shit's here too. Bass yeah. and amps. Just bass, drums. All their amps and stuff are already here. All they gotta do is bring the guitars in themselves. How you doing, Skittles? Here we have the Jackson. With propaganda stickers. The bass amp you guys saw earlier. And here's the crate and Marshall half stack that Hugo will be using. It's all ready to go. Well, actually, he needs to plug in his stomp box and stuff. But other than that, it's all ready to go. The PV Triple X, because it's sexy as fuck. Here we have a uh, girls all over it. Triple the Triple X is very appropriate. Letting the tubes warm up. And here's the <coughs> drum set of the master, Tama. The same kind as Lars yeah, only this one's better because he plays it. <laughs> Savage Haven, custom stickers that you guys saw earlier because, you know, they're awesome. We're using the PV Bandit as a vocal mic, or not vocal mic, vocal amp because we don't got a PA system. Hopefully they have some over there. But other than that, we're just waiting for them to come, show up because we need to practice more. Hopefully be out of here by... Well, we don't really need to, but it's good. Well, yeah, we don't need to practice anymore. We got it. We're, we're like tight as shit. Asian we're like ass. Asian ass. <laughs> Asian ass. That's how tight we are. <laughs> so, yeah, but we just need to, it's always good to just uh, practice, get get warmed up. Then we're going to warm up over there, too. Hopefully, we get out of here on time. All right, we're back here with the guitarist. <laughs> yeah! Richard. Richard, Richard, Mir, Richard Mir. Mir. Unfortunately, um,. Uh, we're missing one guitarist, uh, personal problems, but the show will go on, Everyone. metal. Everyone's got to play, you know. Everyone's got to play, and we just put all play. our shit in one car. Yeah, you got to see this, it's Tetris at its finest. Tetris at its finest. We got a Legacy Cat, what is it, 4x12? Carbon, yeah, carbon Legacy. 4x12, my amp you guys saw earlier, the Triple X and the PV Bandit, my bag, <laughs> and these pedals. And <laughs> and there's symbols in there, the pedal, pedal thing. Oh my, my lord, I don't even know how we even do it. The stand is in here. It's going to go in between. Yeah. Richard's going to sit with his guitar <laughs> in hand. Right here. Right, Not in like that, but in front of him. <laughs> and on our laps is going to be my bass in the hard case. This is one car. Right? In one car. This is a Ford. This could actually go in front of What is this? Car is this a Ford what? What is this a Ford what? Ford Escape. Ford Escape. It's doable, you guys. If you guys, we're not taking a drum set because um, we're using one of the other bands. Thank God. Or yeah. Otherwise, we'd have to take that car over there. The white one. The Sexy white, white one. one. Sexy white one. <laughs> time to close. I could, yeah. Time to close. All right, I'll do the honors. Make sure. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> No struggle whatsoever. Oh god, I cannot believe. It's about 2.45. If we got on the road in 15 minutes, we'll be good. Yeah. And, uh, Once we got there. Series. Yeah, then we're going to have some food. And we're going to play. Alright, what do you got to say? Uh, let's do it. This is our third going? show. <laughs> <laughs> and for the show. First show for me with them. Yeah, this is going to be kick ass. Yeah. So we're going to see how this goes. First indoor show. First indoor one. Yep. Yeah, I don't really call it indoor. It just it just has a roof, <laughs> <laughs> roof on top of our heads. 
All right, so let's see how we do. He sounded pretty kick-ass during the rehearsal, so. Yeah. Uh, let's hope we can carry it on. All right. We're on the road. How does everybody feel? Yeah. It's like it's the greatest fun. It's like so heard. cramped in here. Greatest fun I've ever had. Oh, uh, here you want to record, Anthony? Long time, sure. Anthony. You guys can see it, but it's like, yeah, I'm in love with this case it's... so much. That <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't get the hardwood clay. <laughs> I'm oh, glad, God. too. I'm glad, too. <laughs> plastic, hard, hardcore molded plastic. Uh, you get in an accident, we have a great buffer zone behind us. Yep, look at this. Look at, look at this stuff behind us. We're like, it's, it's a hazard. That bag is gonna fly over the cup potatoes. I can't believe it. Apparently, we're in series now. Listen to Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. I've been providing the amazing soundtrack for today. Oh, yeah. Featuring Lords of Acid, Lazarus AD, and Pantera. We were listening to some kick ass tunes. What? I'm hungry. <laughs> so, we're gonna get some food eventually. You don't wanna be playing a show on empty stomach. Am I right? We're just getting over there. <laughs> oh look at that, in and out. Oh god. Metal. Okay, we just went out to get pizza. We are now stuffed and ready for the performance. Yeah. But we gotta make room for one more person and yeah, it's it's a it's gonna be a tight fit. <laughs> it's gonna be a tight fit. That's that's the two in life. It's always gonna be a tight. Yep. It's not gonna always be comfortable. See, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that I don't think that's gonna. I, I don't think that's gonna happen, man. <laughs> Say what you will. It's <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, that's how. Is there any pressure on this? Try not to. Is that how it's gonna be? Yeah, oh my. Oh good, God. Oh, Got we it. made it fit another one, man. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, and that's yeah. it. Oh God. And I have another pizza sandwich, so this is gonna take. Well, yeah, that lady at the pizza shop was very nice. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and by lady, I mean like a. <laughs> she's like, she's like plus forty, but she was nice. We're out of towners, so yeah, she had questions. That's Leo over there. Say hi. Hey. What's up? Yeah, I'm doing a vlog. Okay. All right, you want me to get in? There is gonna be in the way. There's the marker. You can put it. There's the marker. And here's some yeah. help and guitar playing. Oh, did you get this one, dude? Pick of destiny. That's the pick of destiny. This is what's gonna make us. Uh, Dude, you faces. look hella blue back there. <laughs> the lighting. No, I am blue. Okay. Have it on your lap. That goes there. Right. Oh God. Oh. Me... Ah, okay. Oh my God. I'm trying to fit in the. I got. I, I only have like one butt cheek in here, man. <laughs> That's all you need. All right. No, I need to close the door. <laughs> Over, over, over. Oh. I'm trying to scoot as much to the left as possible right now. Well, you guys get a big You order. guys are my buffer okay. zones. So if we get Woo! on any end, left or right, we're in. That's you guys that's gonna get. We it. are in and we're ready to go. 20 minutes. All right, update. You got the place. Anthony, you can't even see him. Can you even see me? There we go. There we go. Can you see me now? No, Can you see me now? Yeah, we're waiting for the drums to go right. And I don't know if you can hear it, but look at that. Uh, that's Crimson warming up. And we're about to go on in about 40 minutes. So, yeah, let's go check it out. Look at this place.
press it, man. What? You got a jab, but then press it. Oh my God. Hey, hey, the bag. Huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? There's not much damage. Oh. So. <laughs> you gotta press it against the skin. <laughs> Does it hurt? I want to say it hurts like hella bad. Here you go. <laughs> Show me the money. Show me the money. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, you dropped it. You dropped it. Here you go. Our first paying gig. Yeah. I got my soda. Oh, I put it over here. A special thanks to Cyborg Octopus? Is that what you guys? Yeah. Yeah, special thanks to Cyborg Octopus. <laughs> Shit's going on YouTube. All right, we have returned from yes. oh, gig. Already. Yep, from we got we got to complete it. So from, from the epic time era of series, it's outside. pretty uncomfortable we're back in, in here. Yeah, yeah, we're back in civilization. It was about an hour and a half. Drive back. We dropped off Leo, and we did the show. Somebody just farted. <laughs> we did the show. <laughs> videos will be posted momentarily. The videos will be posted momentarily. Uh, this vlog will be up pretty mm -hmm. soon. And uh, thank you to Mr. Hufton for driving all this. De nada. De nada. Appreciate it. Yeah, very appreciated. Hugo, wish we could have been there, man. It was kind of a bummer not having you, but priorities are priorities. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll catch up with you guys next time. Last words, Richard? That is awesome. And here's Last to the next show. Yeah.